At Paradox Con in Berlin in 2019 this year, we got treated to a very lovely drink at the Secret Bar, which was a speakeasy. And Romero Games hosted it. It was poker, and there was a really good cocktail. And we don't know what was in it. And I was too drunk to really ask the rather silent bartenders. But I knew there was mint, I know there was Jim Beam bourbon, I know there was lime juice, I know there was a Schweppes ginger beer, and I know there was me not very conscious. But I don't know the ratios. I'm pretty sure there was also something. So we're gonna recreate it. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. Nice hiss. Oh, that was that, was, that was a nice hiss. Okay, first we'll do the Schweppes ginger ale, which seems to be the worst one, but I remember that it was Schweppes. That was a bit airplane -y. Simple, basic. Olivia? Okay, that is very... Yep, yeah, reminds me of being on a plane. Yeah, yeah, it's like but a plane. Right? I can see that if it's mixed with the right stuff, it's, it'll be fine. Oh god, that's just like being on a plane. Yeah, I'm okay, I'm done with that. I, I, don't, I don't want to drink it. No, I don't really want to drink that on its own. Now we have a little bit more expensive. We've got London Essence Perfectly Spiced Ginger Beer. Low in calories, no artificial sweeteners. So the first one was an ale, wasn't it? This one's a beer. <laughs> You're right. I just gotta drink that, it's making me cough. It's just don't breathe through your nose when you're doing it. Don't breathe in. <laughs> Don't like that one. No. Can't drink it. It's quite neutral though, isn't it? It's it doesn't have neutral. as much flavour as the first one. And then this last one is Fever Tree, refreshingly light ginger beer. <coughs> ah, damn. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't bode well for me. Oh, that damn. Okay, that. It's right in the face. Very ginger. -y. That's actually really nice. It's very nice. Yes. Right, that's my favourite. Then the Shreps. And the London Essence one it didn't really have much flavour, it just kind of made my throat hurt. Indeed. Say it. I prefer just going right there. I need you to say Mark because... So, I'm pretty sure they used a simple syrup because I remember them going... Ooh, but I remember it was actually quite brown. But that could be the lighting and it could have actually been yellow. So, I'm pretty sure they used a... J what? I don't think I'm not saying a word on camera. Is it because that's disgusting or... What? <laughs> no. You gotta tell me. <laughs> just like, it was very brown, but actually, it could have been yellow. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure they were using a sh a ginger syrup. So we made our own ginger syrup with a simple syrup, which is equal parts by weight of sugar and water, with ginger. And this is delicious. It's actually very light in the ginger flavor, but it's, you know, it's, a, it's really, really good. It tastes like medicine. Okay, cool. <laughs> and then we have a normal sugar syrup, which is just sugar syrup, sweet. Flavor cocktails. We got mint, got a lot of lime juice, we got bourbon. The closest cocktail I can find is an Irish mule, which is a whiskey instead of vodka for a Moscow mule. Really, it should be a Dublin mule then. So, a Irish mule, Irish mule is 621 ginger beer, uh, bourbon, or Irish whiskey, and lime juice. So, we're gonna make six of those. <laughs> six of those, why not? And compare them. So, two of each for each beer. With simple syrup and sugar syrup. I'm not actually sure how much sugar syrup or simple syrup. I'm just gonna kind of wing it. So we're gonna do two one for the whiskey. So six of these. Done. And then this will be the simple syrup. I really don't know how much simple syrup to use. I wouldn't say too much because everything that's going into it's it without simple syrup. Yeah, everything that's going into it is very sweet. It's fucking they weren't shaking. Stirred they drink. were stirring them. So if you want to know how to, how to test drinks as a bartender, we'll spit a little straw, that, and grow up, and then... I'm not happy with it, I can tell. First of all, there's going to be mint. And these simple syrup. Can I try it? No, the Shreps is adding a really fake taste to it. What are they using, then? Yeah, that really tastes like the kind of thing that I'd get on a plane. No, the Shreps. Now we're going to try London Essence. So, I realised I did the ratios completely wrong. It's 6 to 1, so obviously it's 3 times... It's Three. I was right the first time. Don't, don't list. Don't just, just shut up me. So one, two, three. One of bourbon. Okay. Tastes too much like soda water. It does. It hasn't got that strong, robust taste that theirs had. Ginger. Yeah. No, theirs was really gingery. It's just kind of a little bit too much like a soda water kind of drink. Let's do the favorite beer. Favorite beer, ginger beer. And a nice big thing of bourbon. You know what, just... <laughs> I think another thing is that they were being very... very oh yeah, negative. they weren't doing exact measurements, they were just doing it all by eye and pouring quite a lot of things. I think it's the closest. What do you think? That it's one too is too... Raw ginger. Does that make any sense? Too much ginger. 
No, it's not too much ginger, it's too much raw ginger. Yeah, the problem is this is too much of a ginger kick. Yeah, it's... So I, think, I think this is the nicest to drink. Yeah, but but okay, so, it, so it needs to be that one. Okay. But the ratios aren't right. Here's what I'm going to do. Three beer. I'm going to go two whiskey. Let's just make this a little bit stronger, basically. A lot less long. I mean, I'm thinking like a half, like a half teaspoon of lime. Normal sugar syrup. Okay, that smells more like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's it need? What's it need? It's... It's really hard to describe. It's not gingery enough, but we don't want that raw ginger flavour. We almost want a syrup. sweet ginger flavour. Ginger syrup, yeah. Teaspoon of ginger syrup. Very slight. Right, that's... That's it. That's better. That's better. That's a lot better. That's better. I think it could have more bourbon in it, honestly. Any more lime? I would just squeeze a bit of lime onto the top of that. Mm -hmm. Which is what they were doing. What? Fuck okay. <laughs> it. So, not those two over there. Nope. But now I have a low calorie ginger beer that I can enjoy. That's true. Make one each? Uh, yeah. I'll probably like, I'll triple it. I would say that's as close as we've got. I mean, it's pretty close. I think that's close we're gonna get. Yeah. I'm also gonna make, as a backup, a ginger old fashioned. Just because I have the ginger syrup, why the hell not? And that's the recipe. I spent uh, like two hours making this, way more. It's supposed to be a date night and making this cocktail, and instead we just spent two and a half, maybe three hours, filming all these different experiments. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. The recipe is on the screen right now. Make sure you do subscribe if you have enjoyed the video, and of course leave a like and comment below if you want to make this yourself or you have any other questions. The full recipe will also be in the description. Next week is going to be a popcorn video that I made. It's going to be a lot shorter, but it's one that I made at this same night, but I thought I might as well break this up into two separate videos. Thank you, Paradox, for introducing this cocktail to me. I'm going to drink way too much of it.